Hey there, MWG Tabletop fans. Josh back to bring you some more Marvel Crisis Protocol. And I'm going to try something a little bit uh, different today. David is back with a freshly painted new core box. And uh, so we're going to try the characters from that and have a little throwdown. We play and call it work. Looking at my team first, leading the whole thing will be Captain America, First Avenger. I've also got Captain Marvel, Cosmic Avenger, Spectacular Spider-Man, The Black Widow, and Invincible Iron Man. My tactics cards for today are Heavy Firepower, Avengers Assemble, Patch Up, Battle Plan, and Repulsor Refraction. Well, I'm bringing the uh, Cabal side of the Earth's Mightiest uh, Core Set box led by Red Skull, Master of the World, and uh, followed by Baron Helmet Zemo, Ultron Metal Tyrant, Crossbones the Merciless Merc, and Doc Ock, Sinister Scientist. For tactics cards, I've got Recalibration Matrix, Brace for Impact, This Is Our Day, Cosmic Obliteration, and Dark Rain, because it's raining outside. The scenario today that we ended up with uh, our secure is going to be a riots, a spark over extremist 3.0. So this is pretty simple. Uh, one VP for each extremist console you secure during the cleanup phase, and uh, the interact is you can heal with them. The extraction is going to be scrolls infiltrate world leadership. So there are four scroll agent tokens down on the map. Uh, you're going to score VPs for each scroll agent held by a character during the cleanup phase, and when you pick them up. The scrolls might beat you up and push you around a little bit, depending on your roles. Here we go, here's the lovely little table we are playing on today. So making use of the new tokens, which are kind of more generic -y and I like them quite a bit more. I just got my core set. Um, it's not ready in any way, but uh, I've obtained it, so that's going to be something that we're going to be working on in the next little while. But yeah, uh, looking at my actual deployment, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man hanging out over on the flank by himself, and then we've got Iron Man and Black Widow. Across the way, I see uh, Helmut over there, the Ultron drones, Crossbones, mm -hmm. Brock, and then uh, Ultron, Johan, and let's just uh, zoom in a little bit and point oh. out Red Skull yep. and his uh, cosmic Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I like that. Struggle and then the uh, Doc Ock, <laughs> which is the one character in the starter set that I actually care about and is tempting me to start a new affiliation, even though I don't play enough to have as many affiliations as I have. But Oh, Sinister Six. That's how they get you. I know, they're, they're really good at it. And it doesn't feel bad, that's the, the, that's the thing compared to other uh, gaming systems, it doesn't feel bad to be like, ah, I'm just gonna get a little bit of extra stuff. There's no regret after. Um, so quick reminder before we jump into it, if you wanna come in and uh, play against me, as I'm the only one here at uh, Mini Wargaming that plays, you can shoot me an email, josh at miniwargaming.com, because the only way that these bat reps keep going is if uh, guests keep coming in to play. Because like I said, I have nobody else to play with otherwise. So thank you, David, and everybody else that's coming. And here we are, round one. Uh, priority is with the uh, bad guys, or at least uh, the misunderstood guys for now. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get powered up, and we're gonna talk real quick about kind of, I guess, the intent of what we're trying to accomplish here. Because it's a little bit different than usual. Um, yeah, so, uh what we have here is a really interesting scenario uh, with uh, with scrolls and, uh, and extremist consoles. Uh, it's a wide um, scenario, and so there's going to be fights all over the map. Um, but there is a center line where we can try to capture some uh, some uh, what are they called? Uh, These are the extremist consoles. Oh no! Well, it's scrolls in the middle, and then extremist yeah. consoles are kind of close to our deployments here. We can try to snag some scrolls and get an advantage that way. Um, and so what I've done is I've, I've placed guys on the end to at least try to threaten the, the, the sides and then most of my team in the middle um, so that they can swing from one side to the other. Depending on how things go, I might start with Doc, see uh, see how he's taken care of. I might faint with, uh, with Zemo because it looks like uh, Josh has two guys over there to my one, and uh, and uh, we'll play it by ear. Yeah, it's a little bit neat because we're trying something again. These are teams that I don't think either of us have really played with any of these characters here. Oh, yeah. So there's a little bit of a, a lack of familiarity, 
but we're trying to kind of go for the vibe of, you know, you've bought the starter set, you've cracked it open the first time, you've read through the cards, you kind of have an idea, but uh, let's experiment a little bit around and uh, see how things go. Yeah. So let's get powered up and we'll jump right into it. Now that we're powered up, gonna go Doc Ock first. So yeah, we've got our kind of more uh, mobile characters on the flanks here. So uh, let's see what uh, the good doctor ends up doing. Yeah, Doc Ock, it only has a medium move, so he's slower than Peter Parker, but he's on a medium base as well, which gives him quite a bit of uh, extra movement. I'll have to double check. I think the Spider-Man's only a medium move as well. Oh, really? I think he's uh, slower than the uh, corset one, huh. the original corset one, but he's a bit uh, fightier. Do you have any long movers? Yeah, Black <laughs> Widow's the only long move in this, uh, this set. And I think Zemo's your long move, or did he get I, downgraded to a medium? He's medium as well. I don't have any long movers on my side. Okay, I dig yeah. it. But I do have some mobility. Doc Ock has wall crawler. Ultron has flight. Uh, so they can they can move around when they need to. So Doc Ock's just going to move within one, and he's going to interact with the uh, scroll. with the scroll, paying one power to do so. And this is risky. Physical defense here. You are throwing four dice. And uh, you didn't get a didn't, crit or a wild, so I get to push you short. You to move me short, exactly. Hmm. I want to be aggressive with this, or do I want to be defensive? I'm going to send you back over this way. Uh, there's not a whole ton of crazy power generation on this version of Spider-Man. He doesn't. I think uh, both of his attacks are going to be a gainer, so he gets a single power when he does them, regardless of the effect. If I had a good builder attack, maybe I'd play that differently. And that's uh, Doc Ock activated. Yep. He's I'm gonna move over to this side of the board and let's get uh, let's get Black Widow up there. Now let's switch that up. Actually, let's send uh, let's send Tony over. So we're gonna medium move and then medium move. I and mean, again, we'll just end up on this side here, range one. He's gonna scoop up a scroll. Yep. So that five times fast. Uh, looking for a crit or a wild here. Oh and no, he's getting pushed short as well. Interesting. Get in gonna here. be him getting pulled up. I don't love that, but I almost would rather have it happen to him than Black Widow right now. Okay, cool, that's Tony activated. Alrighty. Move over from that. Uh, the next activation will be Ultron and his drones. Drones go first. The drones oops, move up oops, to oops. there and then throw a four die attack. Energy. Uh, okay, so we get a crit and a hit so far, so go ahead and throw him for that extra crit. Wait, wait. Um, I'm waiting. I'm on standby. I'm throwing my dice in the meantime. It's a, it's a non grunt ally, so it doesn't. Oh. Okay, so oh, I've got a crit got and a wild. And I got an extra hit. Okay, well, let's see if I can save this. Uh, throwing in for my crit. Nope. And not a success. Aha, I'm winning. So you're going to do one damage to me. Yep. And uh, I get a power. Yep. And Ultron moves up. Maybe I should wait. Maybe I should shoot first if you only move once. Sorry. Oh, now you're thinking about it. Yeah, now you got me thinking. Many options here. Didn't take a shot before you, the potential push. Yeah. That would uh, move you out of range, if yeah. I so chose. Uh, uh, what is this, energy? Uh, six dice energy. Okay. Uh, two crits. It's two not a terrible crits. start. crits. He's going to pay... Uh, wait, can you roll your defense dice? Okay, my defense roll. Huh. Oh, I've got two oh. crits. Let me just throw my crits in and then you can throw yours in. Okay, so it doesn't help. So I got two defenses and I got two, three hits. You got four hits right now. I got, I got, oh, I got four hits. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, spend a power to treat one skull. skull as a crit. Gotcha. Okay. Now is that, um... all right, I'm throwing in for that other crit. So okay, that's... so you've got many hits. Six hits with a wild. And so I'm defending two. What's the wild effect on you? Uh, you get uh, poison and bleed, which are probably immune to both of those, right? All right, looking at all this, so I'm defending two. I'd be taking four that almost gets him, and then you said it puts poison and bleed? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to spend one for I am Iron Man, so I'll reduce that damage by one. Mm -hmm. uh, so instead he's going to take three but still get those status effects. Okay. All right, Iron Man's not feeling great. Not feeling great about any of that. But uh, that happens sometimes. So uh, are you going to be picking up then? No, it picks up. All right, and let's uh, see what that roll ends up looking like. <clears throat> All right, he's got What's four. your physical defense? Four? Four physical defense. Let's see if he can be the first character that doesn't get beat up by the squirrels. Oh, he's going to move. Nope. Oh, you get your crit. You got he my gets crit. to stay he right stays where put. he's at. I love it. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, good activation for Ultron. Um, yeah, really solid activation for him. Yeah. All right, as my uh, thoughts start to unravel, I think what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're just gonna have Spider-Man move on up and uh, secure that. To these. And that is Spidey activated. All Back right. over to your side. I need to see where you guys are going. Huh, what am I gonna do now? Oh, Red Skull's coming over this way after he's doing a barrel roll there. He's gonna move. And that does get him in range for Spider-Man, correct? Correct, but instead, he's gonna contest. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. Okay. I'll move over this way and let's send a Captain Marvel up into the fray. I need her to start to generate some power. Well, she was just out of range of the attack, so instead I moved her up further, picked up that scroll, and survey says, ah, uh, she's uh -oh. getting pushed. No! And gonna push her forward closer to you. Mm -hmm. All right, exactly what we wanted to have not have happen. But that's okay. We're gonna brawl. Yep. yeah, there's gonna be a rumble. Well, uh, it's back over to your activation. I see crossbones and uh, Helmut still need to go. Is All right. Gonna go here. Brock's moving up. And then he's gonna go here. Okay, it's so just a move move. And he's gonna plasma beam. He's not gonna take that third mystery activation again. Wow. He's gonna be uh, just defending that wow, there. Wow, wow, wow. Really, no, that really smart. That makes play. sense. Okay, yep, so he's done. All right, not happy with how all of this went. Uh, looking at Cap, I have made the poor assumption that his shield throw is range four and it's only range three. So. Do I forgo holding this object? No, I need to hold this objective. So uh, we're just gonna move into the other side of it. No problem. But numb. Make sure I'm within range one of it. And we're just hanging tight right there. If it's any consolation, I did the exact same thing with crossbones. That's okay. That's good. I've done it with my entire team so far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then no second action from there because I don't have anything and I don't want to be too far behind on points. Now it is down to Baron Zemo. Mm, I don't think he can get in range to attack him, but we'll see. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, you can bring him on up. Get in the fight, get in the fray. In fact, I can be clever with my positioning. Ooh, cleverness, I like it. Mm -hmm. Has a five Here dive. comes the Zemo with the sword strike, so this is a five dive physical. Mm-hmm. You channeling power into the dice. I'm just trying to see what else I got. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Probably some sort of a reroll mechanic. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so not a ton to get started. My defense roll. Uh, I'm defending one of that. Okie doke. I do get to reroll one. Okay. It's doing Zemo things. Oh. So three successes. Mm -hmm. A. I don't think there's much I can do about that, so I could reduce the damage, um, but you get a wild pierce, mm -hmm. so it's kind of, you know, you only have to do two damage to me, so I will take the two damage and be dazed. Okie doke. And I will drop the scroll, which you will immediately pick up. And then... And uh, physical defense roll. Roll it right here next to him. Also for physical defense. Nice. Some beefy characters. And he is moved. Hmm. Interesting. 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 You know what, do me a favor, just send him straight back to where he was. Okay. Well, that the, is, the, the direction, not the distance. That is a reasonable. Okay. And then I will send up Black Widow to secure that there. And I will finish up her placement right there. Smart. Ah, I got beat up a little bit. I'm getting a little bit beat up. Mm -hmm. So let's look at scoring. I'm holding one scroll and two objectives. You are holding three skull, uh, scrolls and one objective. Yes. Uh, so the score is four to three in your favor as we get ready for round number two. All right, beginning of round two, we are powered up here. And who's activating first? The Ultron's gonna, uh, gonna go and he sends his drones to start picking on Iron Man. Oh, once again, picking on Iron Man. Okay. okay, that's great, that's great. Oh, okay. okay. I'll take four hits. Choosing absolute utter violence. I need to throw three dice at this. Well, I'm defending none of that. Okay. Uh, so I will spend one for I am Iron Man, mm -hmm. and I'll only take uh, three damage. Okay. What are the chances? So much fun, you're gonna do it again. 
Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so there's three successes in there. Four, four again. Okay, so that's four again. Uh, come on, Iron Man. <laughs> okay, so Iron Man's just out of the game. I think I just uh, killed Iron Man. Yeah, because he's six health, so even if I reduce by one, it doesn't matter. Wow. Well, that's not a good swing for me. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that. Ultron drones, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so much for that. Uh, that was the one power, one character I had with a bunch of power on him. Um, what's Ultron gonna do? I guess Ultron's gonna start picking on uh, Marvel. Yep. Yep. See that coming a mile away. What's he starting off with? Uh, he'll start with uh, concussion blasters. This is a six die energy attack. Mm -hmm. Solid. So two wilds. Any wild triggers on that? Uh, he's gonna spend. He's gonna use his spender. Oh, at wild triggers. Yeah. So he's got nano corruption. So she would gain poison and bleed if she's vulnerable gotcha. to it. She's also going to turn this into a crit. Yep. And throw in for the crit. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Four energy defense here. I'm defending two of it at least. I need wilds to do the fancy stuff. So how much damage do you have in the pool there? Uh, four damage altogether. Four. So I will take two and I get three power because I get an extra power every time I get damaged. Oh, wow. She's not immune to bleed, so she will get the bleed effect. And then what's next? How much damage does she have left? Uh, she can take five more. Oh, wow. She's pretty tough. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's your ultra. I'm bound to have one character that's tough. You would think. Um, I think I'm going to do it again. Another, okay. another concussion blasters attack. Could just get some more power in there. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, not so good. Two, well, two successes in a, and a crit's crit. not bad. And the crit gets a while. Okay, so I'm defending with four. Wow. Okay, here we go. So, well, it would be a good so attack roll. A crit. So I'm defending two, but I know I do something fancy with that. So that allows me to change one of your successes, essentially, into a blank. Wow. And for every one I do that for, I get uh, a power. Ooh. So she'll take a power there. And then, sorry, so one of those goes to a blank, and you have three? Yeah. I'm defending four. Yeah, but I change one to a blank. Oh, you change one to a blank, yeah. yeah. And then there are three there. I'm defending two. So I'm going to take one damage and get two more power. Yep. And now you're going to spend three of the power that you've earned? Yeah, to... Uh pick up this uh, bodega, uh, or the yeah, deal and bugle. drop yeah. it on her head. Okay, well, that's fair. <laughs> All right. Defending gets four potential damage coming in. Ah, uh, she's gonna take three of it. Uh, so she's almost gone, but she's not quite out yet. Arr, curses. Okay, wait, you have more. Yeah, Ultron's gonna spend his last two power, for now, yeah. to uh, ence encephalo beam uh, Marvel and push her away. Gotcha. Gonna send her back to there. Probably, okay, yep. Yeah. This is as far back as possible. Gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. It's, uh, not a push, it's an advance, a short advance. Gotcha, cool. All right. And that is it for Ultron, and I have to say. Not a bad opening activation. Decent turn, uh, decent, decent turn. All right, I think I have to go Captain America. I'm kind of looking at my options here, and I think it's gonna be good old Cap. Um, because I don't really feel like taking the days off that bleed. Mm -hmm. So let's go, Cap. Uh, I will start off with. Uh, I do believe. Hmm, let's go for a charge. Let's start off with a shield bounce, and that will go into the drones there. Gross. Uh, so let's see what I can get. Oh. Okay, three wild, wilds. Wild. Uh, honestly, the funny bit is uh, I needed a hit to trigger the bounce. A hit, not a wild. I, I need a hit and a wild. Oh no! Oh, and well, I don't have the I don't have the power. Oh. That's okay. I'll be sad for myself. Mm, uh, let's see what the drones get. Two defense. Uh, they block both. They block two. Okay, <laughs> so you're gonna take uh, take one damage. These drones are monsters. Uh, apparently, I get one. I get one power. Oh, okay. Well, that was uh, fun. Let's uh, do it again. I will take out your grunts. That'll be uh, the big goal for this game. Let's see if I can kill your grunts. All right, so the second throw. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I get the trigger at least. You get the bounce. And skull skull. So Don't defend either of them. Two it. damage and die. Okay, so I'm gonna get two power and I get two resolve another attack. I will send that into Ultron there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got uh, two, oh, sorry, three hits. Three hits, 
and Depending Ultron two blocks two of it. Two. Uh, I will, I guess, uh, spend the one power to change that to a hit. Okay. And that is off of my leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've got four, you've got two. You're going to take two damage, I get two power. Two damage, two power. The drones blow up. The drones blow up. Enemy character within, within two, take one damage. Okay. So um, Cap takes damage. Okay, I can, I can live with this. And then um, Ultron gets a uh, power for every damage dealt this way. Well, I'm sitting on five power, so I'm going to spend all five of that power, even though I don't really love it, and uh, we're going to heal up Captain Marvel. As my patch-up tactics card gone, but at least I won't lose uh, two characters uh, super easy. Yeah, pretty useful. Yeah. Okay, uh, it is over to your activation, good sir. All right, let me see if I can do something fancy here with Brock's beam attack. Yeah. Yeah, kind of knew it uh, was coming, but that's okay. All right. Um, Brock's going to move here. Yep. He's going to pay two power to hit and run. Nice. Okay. So then he's going to make an attack and get a move. He's going to make an he's going to make an attack and get a move. So uh, that goes there. Yep. So he, it's a five die attack. Five uh, die energy. energy. Nice. Into Captain America and first. Captain America first. Okay. One success. <laughs> I don't defend it. <laughs> okay. I take a damage. <laughs> Takes a damage. And then Captain Marvel. Uh, three successes. Okay, okay. Uh, I've only got the one success, but that does... Do you have uh, modifiers for your dice? No, he does not, because okay. he didn't roll skulls. So the wild is going to take one of your successes, uh, turn it into a blank, uh -huh. and then I'm going to end up taking one damage. But mm -hmm. I'm already maxed out on power, so... Yep, that is Brock done. Is Brock complete. Okay, cool. Not um, as useful. before other potential awful things happen, I guess, uh, yeah, I, I probably should at some point figure out what Spider-Man's going to do over here. <laughs> I've been avoiding it up until now. Um, but yeah, that now feels like the time to, to try to do a thing. Yeah, let's swing into Red Skull. Uh, I think we're going to start off with, uh, uh, let's... Do the swinging strike gives me an elusive. I don't care about it as much. I'd rather have the push. So we're gonna go impact webbing. This is a four die physical atom. Okay. Uh, hits. Two hits. Okay. Cabal's got uh, four phys physical as well, and no and no um, crazy defensive crazy tech. defensive tech. Yep. You got it. But uh, he did get to. Oh, you're defending those. Defended both. Um, I'm going to spend the one power uh, to use Cap's leadership, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be changing change this to a wild. Ooh, that sounds like a trigger. Uh, it is, and then you get to throw your crits in. Yep. Sorry, I should have. Yeah, so you're not taking any damage, but I do get a push on you. Okay. I'll send you back over there. Now, this is going awful. <laughs> I could continue to do this, but you have a character that's going to be able to come up. So I need to try to maintain points. So I'm going to spend two for a web slinger to place myself within three. Uh -huh. And then, uh, so he's going to place to there and then a medium move to get me back over onto this objective. Okay. Hmm. That's him activated. Activation is going to be Red Skull after getting pushed back by the kid. Mm-hmm. He's gonna move. Yep. And he's going to Cosmic Blast. Okay, because Cosmic Blast into... Cat. Cat, uh, this is energy, I assume? Yep, it's five die. Five die builder? B oh, I can choose whether it's energy or mystic. I am weaker to mystic. Are you really? Yep. It's a mystic attack. Okay. Very good. And it's a builder. Okay. Five dice. Will you stop? Wow. Uh, two crits. <laughs> what? Uh, so I'm blocking two. Uh, throwing for your two crits. Okay. Now, can I use a power to change that? Uh, we are already, I think you can. 
Yeah, as far as I know, you can still change that to a crit, but, but uh, we've already resolved the crit, so it's not going to blow it's up. It's not going to explode. It's just going to turn into a. Yeah. Hit. So it's a crit. Yep. And uh, how many successes do you have total there? One, two, three, four, five. So I'll be taking three damage. That leaves cap on one. And you are uh, shocked as well. Oh boy, am I ever! And that's a shock. It means I'm throwing less dice in my attacks, but uh, that's okay. I'm not doing that much anyways. I think I'm just gonna try to table me. Give that away from me because he's he's gonna spend three power to uh, reshape the world. Mm. What does that do? So uh, Red Skull gets to pick a uh, interactive terrain feature of size three or less. That's definitely size three or less. And throw it medium. Yep. Which is why I use the movement thing. So yep. I drop this on his head. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's make a defense roll, see if I can stop this. I'm defending against four damage. I need to get all of these. Oh. I got two crits. Oh, it's uh, gonna happen. It's uh, gonna happen. Yeah. Ah. So I stop all of them. Wow, oh. wow. So he's on alive left. on one. Um, all right. But that triggers Ultron drones. They yep. get to uh, appear within guys. three of um, <laughs> Great. of Ultron with a stagger. Gotcha. Okay, cool. And um, I believe stagger, but not an activated token. And there's a stagger. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go with Captain Marvel before terrible, terrible things happen. <laughs> uh, yep. So we're going to start off by transforming. <laughs> that transforms her to her binary form. And then uh, I'm going to go ready or not, which is just a zero cost charge. Oh, goodness gracious. From here, I'm gonna spend three for a Warbird. This is an eight die energy attack. Ka -ka! And uh, what is the energy defense of good old Ultron there? Energy defense, four. Four, yeah, that's pretty good. And he's got, uh, he can take what, six more? He can take six more, yeah. Gotcha. Eight die attack into him. Uh, okay, pretty solid start for me. I do have a, whoop, crit to throw in. A blank. And let's see what you've got, good friend. One. Okay, so let me take a little looky-loo here uh, before anything else. Yeah, I'm not gonna modify mine, but you're gonna spend three for a recalibration matrix? Yeah, I think I could do better than that. Oh, let's see, I, I mean, to be perfectly fair, I'm getting beat up, so I hope you don't. To be fair. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I gotta reroll all yeah, my. Yeah, reroll all the dice. Oh, it's a reroll everything. Uh -huh. You can see that I don't use it. Uh, hmm. Gotcha. Well, okay. So. Does that mean you. Yeah. So I gotta reroll everything. Yeah. All right, well, I really need this to work better. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, no. Okay, well, it's, I mean, it's, oh, still, no. it's still hard. Let's see what That's you get. That's so bad. So I got five in there. And I blocked. One. You, okay, oh. so neither of us are throwing in for our crits because mm -hmm. we're already at the um, modified dice. Technically, we're at the end of the modified dice. Okay, so I've got a whole <laughs> bunch of triggers that i got to take care of. <laughs> Wonderful. First of all, before damage is dealt, uh, other enemy characters within two of the target characters suffer one damage. Mm. So good old Crossbone's going to suffer a little bit of damage. And Oops. I don't think Red Skull no. I, even though I'm was, moving. yeah, I'm even before the bump. Yeah. Uh, so Crossbone's going to suffer damage. Mm -hmm. And then I do get to throw you short. Ew. So I will throw you short into, uh, uh, no, I'd rather just juggle these two. Uh, yeah, let's throw him into crossbones there. Okay, so he takes the damage. And yeah. then uh, that will draw out your brace as well. I get to place myself within two at the end of this. So Yeesh. I'm gonna end up back over here. Uh-huh. But um, And then, uh, is crossbones still on the objective? Is that the intent he there? Is, yeah, he's oh, he is, okay, cool. Meant to be within one. Uh, he may have been bumped at some point, but he's pretty darn close. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, so for my next trick, I'm gonna try to do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna spend another three for another Warbird. But this time I will be targeting Crossbones. Okay. So, eight dice, energy. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, I like that one. Okay, so a much less fanciful roll. Yeah. Okay, so I got a couple successes there. Yeah, and don't forget your uh, uh, Steve uh, leadership. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But I want to see your dice first, friend. Nothing. Okay, so not defending any of that. I'm going to spend the one, because I do have the hit in there, to get a wild. So now I'm looking at four successes. 
Okay. And I've got my triggers up again. Yeah. Okay, so the, the throw is to, to after the attack's result. So, but before damage is dealt, other enemy characters within two suffer one damage. So okay. Ultron's gonna take his one and days. Uh-huh. And then... Uh, Ultron for days. So he drops this. Yep. Where and you we'll want deal it? with that in a minute. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, it's gonna just end up, yeah, back over mm. there, close to where she is. Mm -hmm. And then, let me see. Brock is going to take his uh, four. Uh, yeah, but he reduces it by three because he can take it. Reduces by three or reduces by one? Reduces by one. Okay, so reduces down two, down. taking three. Yep. How much more can he take? Two more. And uh, we are gonna throw him into, the, oh, sorry, I moved your drones. Uh, we'll throw him into the container there. Okay. Um, so, uh, is that after damage is resolved? This is after the attack's resolved, yeah. Okay, so he's gonna, he's gonna aggressive here, and, and then, then go here, bump. and take one more. Yep. Okay. And then she's just getting warmed up. She's going to go ahead and spend two. Uh-huh. Choose an enemy character of size four or less within two, and throw up medium. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, bash his face into there again and do one more damage. Alrighty. And then I will use my last remaining power to pick up the objective there. Wow. So let's see She's what I can do. I'm not getting pushed. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think I will also do after the effects resolved, three or less power. I can transform back into regular Captain Marvel, which I will. Ends up right there back in her regular old form. And then uh, she takes the damage from the bleed. Cool. That was good activation. That was a character that did stuff. Oh yeah. And we're gonna have Zemo come over. Zemo goes and he attacks uh, regular Zemo. Marvel with, uh, Major Marvel with uh, Sword Strike. Sword Strike, okay, let's see what you got. Oh no, stop rolling so well all the time. And he's going to... Boop. Change that to a crit and you get to throw three dice in. Uh, for your crits. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's gonna power next turn. <laughs> okay, that's a roll. Uh, so it's like seven, six, uh, six successes, give or take. Six, yeah. Uh, I'm defending two of that. Not bad. So I'm gonna take the four and then dazed. So let me just actually make sure my math is correct. Yeah, take four and she's dazed. You may have both of these, good sir. Oh, can you carry more than one? Uh, oh no, I was cheating. I shouldn't have been able to pick it up. So... So one's here? That's a good call. Uh, so there's the one that dropped back there, and then uh, you get to drop that one from her. Uh, within one or two? Within, uh, within two. All right, that's him gone. So there's a million tokens everywhere, and we both have... Uh, yeah, I have one character activate, you have one character activate. Black Widow's really just gonna be beating up uh, Ultron drones, I guess. How's that possible? All right, we're back from lunch. I had a kind of spicy burrito bowl, so we'll see if my voice changes. Uh, <laughs> let's go Black Widow, and I will go the Widow Stingers into the drones. Okay. Four die energy. Okay, there's crit to throw. Did I block him? Nothing. No. You can uh, dice him now. Nope. Uh, I could just the spend the one and get it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll just spend the one to change. <laughs> Bump. Bump. Oh! So drones are gone. The drones are gone, they don't blow anybody up. All right, second action, I'm just gonna move just to be uh, kind of the max. Try get the closer, yep. Okay, cool. Uh, that is Black Widow gone. <clears throat> so you just have Doc Ock to go. Yep, Ock's gonna go over here. Just capture this point. I don't know what, what? Oh, maybe he's gonna try to take a shot. Sorry, Doc Ock goes to there and then? He's gonna arm lasers 2.0 because he's got another action. Why not? Sure. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, that's okay. Fine. Four. Does this ignore like, no cover? Four dice energy? Nope. Okay. Let's see what you got. <clears throat> I got two attacks. Then I get two. two I got two successes. Right, he's gonna use. A, he's gonna switch this to a. Yep. Boom. And then he's gonna do that. He's gonna do that. Nope. Okay. okay. So there's Oops. what two successes there? Uh, three successes. Is three it? successes total. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Okay, Cap's gonna daze. Uh, no, he's got uh, one, he can swoop, get one free defense. Uh, he can only take one anyways. Oh, okay. 
So yeah, he's gonna daze. All right. I kind of wanted you to daze him anyway, so he drops the shock. That's All it. right, so that's it. We're gonna go over to scoring. Uh, how many scrolls are you holding? I'm holding two scrolls. And objectives, you're holding one. one. <laughs> and I'm holding no scrolls, but I'm two. holding these two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I two scored points. two. I got three points. So you're pulling ahead. Oh yeah. But it is now time to power everybody up. Yep. Well, I guess flip some characters over and then power up and uh, see what we can do when we go on to round three. All right, here we go. Here's the board state at the beginning of round three. I need my dice to really work out uh, pretty well for me here. Uh, so let's see if I can't get it. Uh, we're going to start off with, because uh, I have the priority now, mm -hmm. and Captain Marvel has to put work in. So she's going to go ahead and transform. Rump. So she is transformed. And then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, but oh. wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh no, no, never mind. Nothing. Okay, good. Nothing. I can't do it. All right, let's go for this. Let's see if I can make this work. We're gonna do the eight die attack. Um, how much power is Ultron sitting on? Ultron has oh, he's in a six ton. power. Yeah, I gotta get him. Okay, so let's throw eight die attack into Ultron. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, not so bad. not a terrible start. Uh, pretty bad for you. Pretty bad for me. My two crits. Uh, another success. So you'd be defending one mm -hmm. and then taking four. Uh, how much health do you got? Six. Six. Okay, so I'm going to spend one to change one of these mm -hmm. uh, to being a success. Yep. And um, so you'll end up taking five damage. Yep. But before that, uh, characters within range two suffer one. Okay. So crossbones will take one. Yep. Boop. And then uh, I will throw Ultron into crossbones. Boop. And that kills Ultron. Yeah, so that is him gone. Boop. Good, I am glad. And let's see what your defense roll looks like on the big man. <coughs> Oops. So he's throwing four dice and you're defending against uh, four damage? Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. All okay, day. Fine. He doesn't care. Yep. Well, that's kind of spooky. Um, and then we'll go ahead and uh, do a, uh, I don't have the power I need. Ooh. Let me think, let me think, let me think. All right, yeah, I think I gotta go for it here. Uh, Cause I could transform down and have that two, but then I don't have a throw on that. Oh, I'm one power off from where I kind of need to be, but I needed to take Ultron out, so that makes sense. So I'm gonna spend one for a binary blast. This is a Oof. six die energy and two crossbones. Yikes. So I need to do four here, you said, to take them out, so essentially I gotta do five, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna end up getting it. You're defending one. Uh-huh. My crits. Ooh. Okay, so we have three total there. Uh, you're defending one, you're reduced by one, you're just gonna end up taking one. I did not get the trigger for incinerate, and I think, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. no, I didn't get a hit result, so I can't change. Cool. And that is Captain Marvel gone, and I'm gonna transform her back. Okay. She's gonna end up back there, and then she's gonna spend the last one to pick up a token. Mm -hmm. See if I get pushed around. Uh, I do, you get to move me short. Okay. I'll opt to move her right to there. Well, that's my first activation gone. It is over to your turn. Wow, I lost my big guy. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna activate. Um, activation will be Crossbones. What's he doing? So Crossbones is gonna start by um, triggering a card called Dark Rain. Okay. Paying three. So any, uh, so I choose Marvel. Any allied uh, Cabal characters can reroll uh, any number of attack dice when attacking the chosen character this round. Pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> and then he's gonna spend three for an up close and personal uh -huh. uh, into Captain Marvel. So that's an eight die physical. Mm -hmm. Spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Eight. How many uh, health? How much seven. health? She's got seven health, okay. Okay, that is okay. eight 
Uh, and then three crits. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Nine ten damage. Well, you could you could just block it. Look at that. Nope. Could block two. Nope. Uh, so she's gonna stay, so she's gone. Yikes. Uh, uh, I'm gonna so drop that. Curious within range. He is. All right. So she's gone. And then uh, okay, that was interesting. That was the best. Um, um, that was the best uh, shot I've seen. Yep. Um, <laughs> wow, he's going to... Uh, I'll let you think about this. <laughs> Crossbones going to go for a hit and run. Hit and run, he pays two for a hit and run. And then throw the plasma into... He's got a plasma beam yep. uh, dude here. Okay, and then so he gets uh, five dice energy. Yep. Two crits. Two okay. Crits. Okay. It's into two more successes. Okay, so he has six on that. Didn't get the pierce though. Uh, I don't defend any of that, but I can. Uh, I can do this all day, so I get to add my blanks. Okay. Uh, so the pierce doesn't actually matter. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm defending two and taking four. Okay. Uh, let's roll and see if Crossbow gets uh, pushed around. He does. Okay. You know what? Uh, just send him straight back for me. Go straight back, back? there, Crossbones. Yeah. Straight towards you. Okay. Interesting. I need him just to go away for a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that was way more damage than I expected to get onto Captain America. Um, so I need to do something about that because you're going to get in with these characters. So I think it's the only point, uh, even if I run away, you're going to be able to blast him. So I just need to be uh, purely aggressive. So I'm going to spend two for a charge. All right. And then I'm going to spend four on a Brooklyn Brawler. Uh, yep. So that is, we're going to say that I will have the target be Doc Ock. So it's a five die attack, but I get to add your size to the amount of dice. So I'm only adding, he's size two, right? He's size two, yeah. Okay, so seven die attack, Adam. Ooh. So seven die attack, physical. Oh, there you go. Oh. Cap woke up. Wow. You're defending one. one of it. Okay, and I get to throw in my two crits. Boom. Yeah. So. Oh. That is, yeah, I'm just looking at the trigger there because I also got the frontliner trigger. So, uh, you're defending one of that. Yep. Uh, so that'll be the six to daze them. Uh-huh. So you are dazed, and I also oh. got the trigger to immediately make that attack targeting somebody else. Ooh. So that is the frontliner uh, rule. So that will go into uh, Red Skull. Seven die physical into uh, Red Skull. Uh. Okay, another Ooh. solid roll. I'll Ooh. throw in for my crit. Okay, so that's another grand total of six successes. You get four defense dice on this though. You can get them. You have a crit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I will pay one mm -hmm. to uh, change that. Yep. To being, um, sorry, change this to being a success. <clears throat> And then that should be enough to get you for six. Yeah, sure did. Boom. <sighs> okay. Well, that worked way yeah. better than I thought it would. Um, Sweet. I dropped this back here. I should have dropped it closer to him, but I was kind of worried about uh, Spidey about uh, Spidey bleh, Spider Man potentially having to come get it. I mm -hmm. think that's still going to be my game plan. Okay. Well, that's good. So I dazed those two characters out, and uh, I get a move. End up right there, and then I'm going to spend one to heal one. Boop boop. Well, that's, uh, that's Cap gone. There's my entire team gone. Holy smokes. Uh -huh. And Zemo. Mm-hmm. Just gonna go right over here. And just have that. Yep. Cool. That's it. That's his whole turn. That's his whole turn, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I gotta think about what I'm gonna do back over here. Black Widow's not really being used a whole lot, but I can potentially have breathing room for one turn. Because what are you scoring so far? You're scoring... One. Two? Two points, I think, yeah. Okay. Well, let's go uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, look at it. I kind of fumbled this one back here. Um, Spider-Man's only got the one power. What I will do is just move him to the other side of this. 
to still hold on to that. And yeah, kind of a wasted activation with them. I don't love this. And then Black Widow's just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Um, but I th think that's about all I can do on my turn. Ah, kind of bummed out, I messed that up. I'm looking at options now. Black Widow could potentially get herself up into the fray here and go mess with Zemo and deny some points. Uh, but Zemo can take, what, five? Zemo is uninjured. Yeah, he's so yeah, he can take five. five. So I'm not going to get him with just a singular attack there. Uh, hmm. I think I've got some potential next turn, and I'm just going to have to weather the storm a little bit. Uh, yeah, because I can't get the characters to where I need them to be. But that's okay. Mistakes were made. Uh, so that's going to be it for my team. Me too. And, uh, yeah, so looking at scoring, you are going to score your two. Oh, sorry, I have three. Yeah, my mistake. I had... Uh, oh, crossbow's got crossbow's one, two. Oh, you're going to get further ahead. Okay. Uh, so you're going to score your three. And you've got three. Right. Uh, I've only got two. No, one, two. Does not... Uh, oh, sorry, yes, I have that. Yes, three. You're right. So you're going to go to ten, and that brings me up to eight. So I'm still lagging two points behind as we get ready for round four. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Here's what the game state looks like at the beginning of round number four. So you have priority now. And I have to put up with that. Well, let's see what you do. I gotta kill Captain America. How much health he, does he have? The, he can take two more. Two more, huh? I'll let you think about that. Who's gonna be your first activation? Uh, I'm gonna activate Doc Ock, Sinister Scientist. Yep. He's gonna start by um, uh, play, by playing Ox Grasp, so he can choose a yeah. interactive terrain feature or, or enemy character size three within three, and throw it S. So he's gonna take this and throw it at him. Okay. Okay. I'm um, defending against three damage here. Uh, you get him. He takes two. Takes two. Oh yeah, takes two. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, that's Cap gun. All right. I needed him to not have that happen. Boop. Yeah, I did that. Now you still get both of your actions. Yeah, exactly. So he's gonna go here. Pick up. Pick up. And you can roll now, or I get to roll. You get to roll, good sir. I get to just get to move you. If you don't get a crit or a wild. A crit or a wild. Yep, a crit. you're fine. And then he's gonna use his movement to go back over here. Yep. Uh, one of this. That's Doc Ock, finito. Yep, that's him activated out. Okay, um, my turn I will pass. Oh, you could do that. Uh, that's oh a thing goodness. I can do. Yeah, it is a thing you can do. Brock's heading over. Activating Brock, he's gonna go this way. Yep, stay nice and safe. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I can go on top of the car. You know, we don't spend enough time on top of the train in these games. Okay. All right, so he's done. You've got so many points. Let's go ahead and, oh, alas, poor Spider-Man. I need you to do everything that you're not capable of doing right now. Um, uh, I might pop the Avengers Assemble just to get a little bit of movement going. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, so I'm gonna pop that and have Black Widow and Spider-Man both go ahead, make their short moves. I forgot about this. Move them both up. And then uh, Black Widow's gonna be going, and I will do an advance and probably a Deadly Origins. Yikes. All right, let's see what she can do on this seven die attack uh, into Zemo. Physical? Yeah, physical. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, something. Okay, only three successes. I got two and a crit. Yep. And I get a reroll. Okay. Nope. So that's gonna be one damage, and I do get the trigger here for Deadly Origins. Mm -hmm. uh, so I get to make a Shock Baton attack. Deadly Oranges, okay. So I did what, one damage to you? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then there's a Shock Baton, so this is a five die energy. And throw in for a crit. Okay. Add four this time. So we got four so far. Mm-hmm. Stop defending three, all of it. And a crit. And a okay. reroll. Yeah, so one. you're defending four, and with this one, 
Um, I can reroll any number of my dice during the attack, including skulls. Okay. So you're defending all four of this. Yeah. But you I get two more. Two damage onto you at least. Okay. Well, if you didn't roll super high, I could have got him. Okay. Uh, and that's gonna give me two power. Well, it is your activation now. Oh, whew. So you have either Red Skull or uh, Zemo. Yep. Sorry, I also get a free, it would have been a free medium advance. Do you mind if I just fix that real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was just sending her over to be within range one, but over on that side. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, Red Skull's gonna go, and he's gonna go for a reality bows to me. Is that a superpower or an attack? It is an attack. It's a seven die mystic attack. Range well, I don't four. love that for me. So three dice on this for me, seven for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You only got one crit this time. Well, maybe. Well, let's uh, go ahead and roll it up. Um, let me make it two crits. Oh, okay, yeah, spend to make it two crits. Mm -hmm. Well, throw your two extra dice in. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you get Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna do five damage to him these days. Oh dear. Uh, and then nothing's beyond my reach. It's gonna go here. Okay. Yeah. Should I do that? Yeah, I did that. Sorry. No, you're I shouldn't good. have done that. Uh, and it's going to cosmic burst uh, five dice on um, Lady on here. Two. Energy. Is this energy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're not within two, so I'm not going to get the martial artist. Only three. Three. Okay. Three energy defense. Mm hmm. I defend one of it, uh, okay. so I take two. Yeah, token here. Eat the token up, uh, go ahead and roll his physical defense. Oh yeah. You could be pushed. Uh, you're not gonna be, no. but you could have been. I'm not pushed three times. Okay, okay. All well, right. um, then you have Zemo to go. Zemo goes. All right, this is all dependent on you trying to take out Black Widow. Okay, he's gonna coup, coup de Gracie. Okay. Uh, shock gives him one fewer die. Well, let's see what you got. I have four physical defense here. Survey says. Um, let's see, what can I do here? Okay. Wow, that's brutally bad. Okay. So you got one success. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stop it. Stops it, okay. Yeah. What's next? Um, then he's going to sword strike. Sword strike? Yeah, he's going to sword strike. Uh, he gets seven dice. Yep. One, two, three, four, six. So six, because he's still shocked. Um, yep. Okay. You got the crit there. Yeah. Uh, are you going to change one of the skulls into a crit? He is. Okay. And so I need to roll two. Two crits. One more. And he nice. needs to re-roll an attack die. Okay. Nothing. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I'd only be defending one. Uh, during the modified dice step, I'm gonna spend two. And, or no, I'd be defending two right now, but I'm gonna spend two to re-roll everything. <sighs> okay. Uh, or is it any number? Well, they gotta check now. Give me a minute. Sorry, it's reroll any number. So I think I had a blank in that. So I'm gonna reroll these two. You count blanks, yeah? From yep. martial arts? So I'm defending three of it. And okay. how much did you have in the pool? Um, I had- uh, Four? Four, looks like. So yeah. I'm gonna end up taking one damage. And I have a pierce, but I do not want to- Doesn't matter, because I have blanks anyways. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So that's just one, yeah? Yep. One right. and one. Well, that's the end of the turn. I score nothing and you score five. five. So you're one point away from winning. I just need to get uh, eight points this turn as we get ready for round number five. Okay, here we go. Beginning of round number five. Uh, we're powered up by a priority. I'm gonna start with Black Widow. She's gonna spend one heal one. And then she's gonna spend- Oh man, I forgot about that. You did. <laughs> I did it. You can fix it if you want to. Nah. I'm gonna spend. Play lays. Yep, fair. I'm gonna spend four for a uh, deadly origins, and that will be uh, into our lad right here. Yep. 
deadly oranges. This is a seven die physical. Oh, oh. dang it. I block two. Yeah, that's, I was only doing two. I'm gonna reroll. And three. Way to show off. Yeah, I don't have any rerolls or any help here. Okay. I didn't get the wild for the uh, trigger that I needed. So I guess I'm just gonna try to hit you with shock batons then. Okay. This is a five die energy attack. Energy. Boop. Ooh. Okay, she gets three. That's three. And I got uh, nothing, but I got a reroll. Also nothing. Okay. Right, uh, that dazes him. Very good. Boop. And so I'm gonna get three. How much did he actually take there? Two? Uh, I get two, yeah. Yep, and then I guess I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll spend one to pick that up. This will work, this will work, don't worry, don't worry. She doesn't get pushed. Mm -hmm. And that's her activated. And Red Skull's coming back over this way? Red Skull's coming back over this way. No, leave, <laughs> leave Spider-Man alone. Leave um, him alone. He's weaker on uh, Mystical, right? Uh, I just don't get uh, spider sense on it. So yes, in yeah. a roundabout way, he is weaker on Mystic. Okay, so it's a, he's gonna do a five die Mystic attack. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do a three die Mystic defense. And sorry, was that a move or was that a, yeah, that was a move. That was a move, right? yeah. A move and then now an attack? Yes. Okay, let's see what you got. Pew. Wow, well, he's gonna spend the power to, oh, he didn't get a skull. Yeah, he didn't get a skull. Okay, the spider sense is hmm. not tingling. Uh, so I get two successes, so I block that damage. But you did get shock. Oh, okay. Yep. That's a shock onto Spider-Man. Okay, I'm gonna pass. You, you get to go again. You passing person. Okay, okay. All right. Brock is size five temporarily, so he can climb down from there, and then he's gonna plasma beam Zot. Yep. That's a five die energy And you're outside attack. of range two, but within range three? Correct. Very good. Hmm. All right, jump the gun on that, yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, well you get two, okay, you get two crits. Two crits. And then he's gonna... Spend a change? Yeah, he's gonna spend a change to add to a hit as well. Yep, uh, so we got four successes four. there. Mm-hmm. She's gonna take three. Oh, she's got one health left. That right. leaves me on one health. Yeah, we had two health. Oh, I did, no, shoot. Oh, he yeah, gains did, one. He gains one, one from the plasma beam. Yeah, now he's gonna hit and run. So he makes an attack action followed by uh, He, I think he already moved down and attacked. Oh, it's an action, you're right. Yep, yep. so he's it. sitting on two power. Darn it. Ah, uh, screwed up, okay. okay. Back over to our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Uh, man oh man, do I gotta do a lot of work here. Okay. I think we're gonna start off for two with a web slinger. So that's a range three place. All right, I just need this to work. We're gonna go for a web head wallop. Oh, wow. This is a seven die physical. Mm -hmm. Now we know that these could work against you. Yeah. Um, if he's Captain America. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, not great. Mm -hmm. So we got three successes. And it's physical, yeah? It's physical, yeah. Well, I only Getting got one. One. Okay. And I did get the trigger for catch, so we're gonna do that in a second. Um, but it looks like you're taking two. Mm hmm What's that bring you down to? Bring you down to four. You take four more then, eh? Well, you are, so then I take a terrain feature and get to throw it at you. That's gonna be the lamp post. Bonk, suffer a collision. That's two dice, two, two damage? Oh, two damage, yeah. And he takes two. Ooh, okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna go for a swinging strike. It's gonna be four dice at you. Okay. Uh, how much more can you take? He can take two more damage. Ha! Huh. Oh, that's a big hit. Okay. Here. We got four successes. I got a block. So much damage. Ah. Why did I roll five dice? I'm gonna roll this over again, but only roll yep. four this time. I don't know why I rolled five dice. Four crits. No. Nope, he dazes. That dazes you? No, he dead. Oh, he's dead. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna drop the objective. I'm gonna drop it here and I'm gonna pick it up and hope for the best. All right, Spidey, don't go anywhere. 
Uh, hit, uh, sorry, crit or wild. Come on! No! no! Dang it. Oh, you can move this one. Oop. Okay. You and your shock. So I'm back over there. Uh, is that turn? That's it. That's turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I just handed you a priority again, but that's okay. That's okay. I am going to score a grand total of three. So one, two, three. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm going to score two. One, two. And that is game. That is. Uh, it was. It was. It was a valiant effort. Yeah. It was a valiant. You were going to get it no matter what. Um, but I was trying to get a higher score at the end there. Well, awkward left-handed handshake. Indeed. Good game, sir. Good and game, let's, Doc. And uh, let's chat. All right, here we go. We're sitting comfortably. We get the chairs of despair, and uh, yeah, let's talk about it. What do you give me your overall impressions? Well, um, I think that the uh, that the new characters in the core set are really solid. Um, they, it's I think it's really cool. Um, I think it's interesting that the that the characters seem to be pretty aggressive. There's a little bit of damage mitigation, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so the characters mostly just just punch each other. Yeah, there is a. They are definitely. It's a good spread of characters to add in. So these are two affiliations that, well, I guess, majority two affiliations. But you dip into some other stuff. Uh, these are a bunch of characters I don't normally touch. <laughs> um, so I've run the core set demo enough times to have a basic understanding of just the the first core set there. But yeah, it's interesting to see how the characters have kind of uh, grown, and that there is a lot more going on with them. Because uh, overall, I think the original core set was um, 17 costs per side. That's right, yeah. And then now we're up to 20 costs. And it definitely feels like we've moved up a notch or two. Yeah. Um, with some of the different characters. It's interesting to see, yeah, some of the super fast characters. So Zemo and Spider-Man have both went down to medium moves. Mm -hmm. But they have a lot more things they can do. Yeah, I mean, um, they're both... Uh... They're both pretty punchy characters. Um, the, the OG Zemo is pretty good and close too, though. So, yeah, it's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's um, there's much more to explore with these characters. Um, like, for example, I had Zemo out on the flank, and Red found out later on that he actually has a uh, has a reroll aura around him, so he yep. might have been better in the middle. Um, you know, little things like that. Yeah, I don't mind having him on the flank to come in and kind of... I guess um, threaten the flanks, but then also move in later once we see how the board develops a little bit. But yeah, you could have just had him straight in the middle. Um, pretty happy with how everything went, except for Iron Man. That one, uh, I didn't think he was going to get punished that hard. I definitely knew that was a that was a possibility, but he's a fairly defensive character, so I'm like, yeah, whatever. You know, he'll be able to go up. He's kind of built to take it. He'll uh, take a bunch of damage. They'll give me a bunch of power. And the plan almost worked, because I was probably going to go for a Repulsor Refraction. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was other cards I could have used to make use of him. He also gives out a little aura of rerolls, I think, uh, with his power. I guess. I don't know. Uh, here, let me look. Uh, I'm, I'm reaching, I'm reaching. So yeah, the updated uh, uh, Jarvis. So when another allied character within four is attacking during the modified dice step, he can spend one to three for each power spent. I can reroll one of the attack dice. Not bad. So definitely, you know... I thought he was going to zip up and then, you know, fly into the middle and start handing out rerolls. Yeah. Uh, but the drones just punished him for existing. Yeah, that, I mean, that was just that was just dice luck. I think you know, getting getting eight hits on two four die attacks is kind of kind of silly. Um, but um, and and yeah, especially especially since he's uh, a lot less vulnerable to chip damage than than some with his um, with his damage reduction. Thanks to his damage reduction. So right. Yeah. Because it it is. Um, you can just reduce by one. It's not to a minimum of one. Yeah. It is a superpower to do. And it does cost one. But, yeah, he can definitely... You can't chip damage him the way that you could the previous one. And he had some... He's got some good attacks. I could have potentially really come out swinging there with some range five attacks with all the power he was on. But, uh, yeah, it was not meant to be. Yeah, pulling him towards my uh, my line was really kind of an all or nothing proposition. Yep. Um, I... I tr figured that um, um, since he'd already gone, I could safely daze him without losing priority, and then that would give me a shot to um, to uh, kill him at the top of round two. And uh, I took my best shot, which was Ultron and his drones, because they get you know at least four attacks. 
right. and it paid off. So, you know, um, uh, it took a little bit of luck, but it, um, it, it really, it really put me ahead. Um, Meanwhile, my board strategy, I think, paid off as well because it got me uh, incrementally ahead on, on, on board, which sort of um, forced you to come to me. Um, which is not exactly where I wanted to be. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it, you kind of split the difference too, right? Like a full court press might have been a little more effective, but keeping two characters back to try to, to, try to keep points, uh, to try to score points um, while remaining out of the action let me gang up on the characters that did jump in. Yeah, I was back and forth on it because I didn't want to send in, I didn't want to move move characters into range so you could just attack them more. Yeah. Um, I mean, because I didn't want to have the entire team get dazed out. Yeah. Uh, one after another. And then, uh, but that could have, I mean, that could have potentially worked a little bit. Um, but I, just, I tried to err on the side of caution and hope that you wouldn't do as much damage. But yeah, you were able just to throw down huge, huge damage. Um Crossbones did a surprising amount. Yeah, again, well, that's another. That's that was another crazy, uh, crazy roll. I mean, it's an eight die attack, so you know he can do a lot of damage, but he ended up doing something like ten hits. Yeah, I think uh, he had ten hits on it. Yeah, but also even like the plasma into Captain America almost took him out. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I got five damage on that uh, damage side, and I think you did uh, like four damage to me or something goofy like that. Yeah, I found overall our, our offensive decks were much stronger than our defensive ones. That, that one turn where Captain America dazed uh, uh, two four-threat characters all by himself was pretty impressive and certainly... Uh, in one action, foot. yeah. Yeah, in one action, too. Yeah, yeah, one action. That was really good. Um, you know, and then again, Captain Marvel is marvelous when yeah. she gets, when she gets uh, transformed and powered up. I definitely like this version of her more than the original Corset version. Um, yeah, she's pretty cool, for sure. There's a lot more kind of utility there, I think. And yeah. Uh, having the transform character, this is the first time I've ever played one of the transform characters, and it, it's neat. And then obviously she's thrown a, a ton of dice. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't necessarily pick the best tactics cards. I didn't pick awful ones. It just never kind of came together. Because mm -hmm. uh, I was hoping to last a little bit longer. Because um, battle plan could have been a thing. Yeah. That it's a little bit more efficient if I can spend the three off um, uh, Captain America. And then everybody within three of them gets a benefit. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, I was in the back foot kind of right away losing uh, Iron Man. So I tried to push to be a little bit more aggressive. Ironically, Avengers Assemble probably had the most effect of any card in the game. Yep. Um, it was uh, too little too late, as it turns out. But it really got your, your reserve forces into the fight to, uh, to make a game of it. Um, I played three cards. Uh, one of them, as I mentioned during the game... Um, was completely at odds with my strategy because it requires me to be behind in points. And the other, and the other one's kind of a, is kind of a defensive or counter-offensive card for um, for Red Skull, and he he was only attacked when he was uh, you know one shot basically. Right. So uh, so I didn't get a chance to use that one. The other three completely superfluous, like uh, Recalibration Matrix uh, uh, didn't save Ultron, and Brace neither did Brace for Impact. Uh, Ultimately, and and dark rain proved to be completely unnecessary with the you know massive wave of hits that crossbones uh, achieved. Right. So right, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, um, I still maybe I played them at the right time. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I need to kind of you know scratch my head a little bit. And this is definitely, like I said, I picked up my core set not that long ago. So hopefully, uh, you know, I work on it over the weekend and I can kind of start playing it and demoing it a little bit more. Uh, but there's a lot to dig into here. It definitely feels like there's a, a lot more meat on the bones of this one compared to the first um, core set. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, we're unlikely to see these exact teams except in demos against new players. So, so uh, probably um, chewing off all parts of the buffalo would be counterproductive if you're trying to teach new players how to play. <laughs> right. But um, but uh, the characters themselves are really interested, interesting uh, for the most part, and and. Um, the models really are very, very nice. Yeah, the ideal demo for me is I'm having two new players play against each other. Sure. And letting them kind of discover as they go, but mm -hmm. having the knowledge base that if one's getting beat up really bad, I can kind of jump in and be like, hey, guy that's getting beat up, uh, take know. a look at this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and kind of control the flow that way a little bit. Yeah. And Because uh, you don't have to do that, but if you can tell somebody's getting beat up and they're not having fun, then, okay, well, cool, let's swing it back in your favor a little bit, get you back in the game and show some stuff off. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I definitely there's going to be 
much more of this played. I don't know how many times, like you said, we're going to see these exact teams on camera. Um, might revisit it after I've got a little bit more practice down the road. Uh, but I do have a lot more MCP that hasn't went out yet. I think I might put this one out, out of order a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, just because it's, you know, the longer I wait to put it out, the less relevant it is. Even though this will be the starter set for quite a time. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. It's it's nice. It's kind of neat to play some characters and learn as you go. Like, I had a chance to skim all the cards, but not really kind of study them the way that I've studied other characters when I play them for the first time. Because um, typically, if you see me... So if, if you've been watching the MCP Bat Reps, if you're seeing me use a character for the first time on camera, it's almost guaranteed I'm using that character for the first time. Mm. Um, but having a whole new team of new characters, was, it was a fun little challenge. And I'm all about that. So, yeah. Any any closing thoughts for the people at home? Well, just to re- just to reiterate what you were saying, um, you know, as I'm becoming more experienced with the game, uh, I'm really enjoying th- this kind of format, the the, the discovery stage of the game. Um, I, I worried that having an entirely new roster would be a little bit overwhelming, but it turns out we're both experienced enough to sort of. I think uh, you know, pick up on what the main intent of each character and the team as a whole is meant to yep. be, and uh, and the mistakes um, uh, uh, in like missing triggers or whatever is part of the game, and and I don't think was decisive in this case. So yeah, it, I almost wish there was some way to do to do this sort of almost draft format where you could sort of um, uh, pick a bunch of random characters and have them have them bash away, because uh, I'm finding the uh, the uh, our whole roster building. In competitive side of the game is um, uh, unavoidable, uh, sweaty for me, and um, <laughs> and also, um, yeah, like I say, I- I- inevitable. So um, you know, it's nice to play casually as well. Yeah, definitely. I, I think this this game plays wonderfully casually, but also you know, it's easy to kind of crank it up and, like you say, get into uh, you know some real deep thought on the best teams best secures and extracts and all that and like some really 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 tight list building mm-hmm. um and i like that that game the, see i find the casual play functions just below that super competitive level in other games that i play there's usually more of a gap it feels like mm-hmm. um it feels like you're missing out on a good chunk of the game if you're not kind of uh being trying to be super competitive but this this setup no you build a fun kind of team uh and yeah, you can just kind of run with it. Uh, I like to play pretty much entirely in affiliation if I can, or at least have you know a very strict theme going, as opposed to like the theme is that this is the best uh, <laughs> the best numbers I could put on the table. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like you said, that discovery phase of the game is is excellent. So I highly encourage anybody. Uh, I mean, if you're this deep into the post game, you're probably quasi interested in the game anyways. Um, or you're already you know deep enough into the game that you enjoy. But yeah, if you're a newer player. Uh, get out there, get that box set. Uh, pretty much the majority of the stuff you saw us playing with, like all the characters, um, tokens, and a good chunk of the other stuff all came out of the core set. So you need a 3x3 three three place to play. Uh, so whether you mark that out or you have a gaming mat, uh, and if you have a larger gaming mat, you can just use a portion of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's plenty of companies making 3x3s. Three uh, we, we didn't have your terrain from the core set, and there's a good amount in there. Yeah, there's enough to play, there's enough to play a full game. The original core set had about half of what you need, maybe two-thirds. Yep. But this one's got you know, out-of-the-box playable. Yep. Uh, everything except for the mat is, is in the game, is in the box. In that. And the, the nice thing, again, is uh, there are two teams that are fairly balanced to each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is an extra character because we have here. Bring him over and throw him on the table because that way I get it to focus. Yeah, it's a Winter Soldier. The Winter Soldier himself. Uh, and that is a four-point character. He's four points. He's got his own uh, tactics card called Soldat Activate, I think. Okay. Um, that's supposed to be pretty good. I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, I haven't really messed around with mm-hmm. it because uh, I was trying to focus on the characters I brought. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so you have uh, what loving characters mm-hmm. in the uh, in the box set. Yeah, uh, playing five v five is good, but you also have that one extra one you can mix in. And keep in mind, it's not uh, we're not faction locked, so you can mix these together however you like. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's more than enough if you and a friend want to get into it and uh, get started. Split the characters um, and then. 
uh, there's enough tokens that you guys can both play the game. You can also split them to a degree, but there's also a bunch of aftermarket companies. You can get tokens and the rest of all that. Like, it's not tough to get tokens for these games. So the core of what you need to play, yeah, the the core box is enough for two people to get into it and be and to be able to throw down a couple games. And then if you both you know stick with it, um, you decide how you divvy up the tokens, the rest of that, and yeah, yeah I'm thoroughly impressed. I guess one last thing, uh, it's a bit wicked on the part of AMG, but, but among the characters that they provide, they, they give you a lot of different leaders. So I think there's uh, five or six different, uh, different faction leaders in the game, in the, the core set. In the core set, yeah. Um, so if you don't want if, if to do Avengers or Cabal, you can go ahead and, and uh, pick up the box and do spider foes with Doc Ock, or you could do Hydra with Baron Zemo, or you could do Shield with uh, with Iron Iron Man, and uh, some of these factions are quite are quite powerful, um, either uh, 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 of themselves or uh, specifically with the leadership that the core set provides. So yep. um, yeah, it's a it's a really nice way to start. The yeah, game everything's game. just kind of relevant, um, which mm -hmm. is nice. You know, there there's no characters, and that's the other thing too that I like what AMG's done is that um, the original core box characters are all still valid and usable in the game. It's not like these are the new versions and you have to use these new versions with the new sculpts. Like, no, mm -hmm. there are, you know, multiple versions of Captain Marvel. There's the two different versions. Yeah. And you can use either or. One's a four cost, one's a five cost. So it's nice that it doesn't feel like the stuff you're getting is redundant. Yeah. Um, and then the same boat, you know, if you have the original core box and you're getting your friend into this, well, it's easy enough. Cool. Um, you know, you scoop this uh, box up, you can split it with them, and, you know, they take the tokens and half the characters, you take the characters you're interested in. Like, it's just, it's easy to get into and play. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to get bored because there's, like, 200 characters out. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, hopefully you folks enjoyed. Uh, leave some comments down below. And correcting us on mistakes that we made and, uh, you know, if there's things that weren't clear, or I can do a better job uh, narrating and showing you folks what's happening. I'm always looking for feedback. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. Keep being awesome. And as always, um, I forget what to say. Happy Wargaming. Oh, yeah. Happy Wargaming. <laughs>